Ken Bruce shocked fans when he announced in January that he was leaving his mid-morning BBC Radio 2 program after 31 years. The 72-year-old hosted his last show on March 3, and is gearing up to start at Greatest Hits Radio next month. The broadcaster's new role will see him continue his popular pop master quiz on weekday mornings at 10. 30 a.m. from April 3rd. Today the Scot was praised for taking the iconic segment with him by Jeremy Clarkson. The news saw the presenter reflect on his own departure from BBC's Top Gear in March 2015. The 62-year-old claims, unlike Ken, he was unable to take an element of the motoring favorite, despite dreaming up the whole concept. Jeremy stated he was behind the stig, but was told by the broadcaster the man in white would not be coming with me. He and his co-hosts Richard Hammond and James May, who left with him, started up the grand tour with Amazon Prime soon after exiting Top Gear. Speaking in his latest column for The Sun, the Clarkson's farm star questioned how Ken had pulled off taking the quiz with him. Popmaster will be continuing on the latter's new show, after first starting back in 1998. Jeremy stated, Hell, Ken, be able to take it to his new show on Greatest Hits Radio. That's good news. But how did he pull it off? I thought up the stig. He continued, dreamed up the whole concept of a racing driver who never spoke, and even came up with a name. But when I left the BBC, their legal people made it very plain that the man in white would not be coming with me. Don't miss. BBC star Richard Osman slams pathetic Gary Lineker Mott decision, latest, Piers Morgan hits back as Hess mocked for comparing GMB Row to Lineker, Row, Bruce Willis' wife admits relationship with ex Demi Moore is odd, listen, express. Co.uk has contacted a BBC representative for comment. Jeremy was initially suspended from Top Gear after a fracas with one of the show's producers, Oisin Taimon. It emerged that the pair had locked horns over catering while filming in Yorkshire. The BBC later released a statement confirming they would not be renewing Jeremy's contract. Meanwhile, the latter's comments come just hours after there was controversy surrounding the BBC's pop master replacement. The launch of 10 to the top saw some listeners accuse the first contestant of cheating, after noticing a pause in between the question and answer. Radio 2 stars Zoe Ball and Richie Anderson were among the first players, which featured similar elements to pop master. However, many fans called out the callers for second pause as highly suspicious, claiming they were looking up the answers. Touching on the claims, a spokeswoman told The Sun, prior to going on air, all ten to the top contestants are asked to participate alone with no assistance, books or devices. And we're confident that all players just use their music-filled brains, 